So you might be pretty upset with me right now because I just basically gave law enforcement, first responders, a get out of jail free card for infidelity. Um, I assure you that is not what I was saying at all. So let me explain. <laughs> so when somebody has significant events in their life or is um, struggling with PTSD or uh, ha is under a lot of stress. Now, it doesn't only apply to first responders, right? This can, this can apply to a lot of people with very stressful jobs, especially. When the stress is always at this height and it's always negative, it's almost always distress, right? The adrenaline spikes and it's because with first responder population, it's because of something negative happening, right? The police officer is on a foot chase with somebody who just murdered somebody. Um, the firemen, women, whatever, have to run into a burning house and like save people. Um, the emergency medical responders have to come to your probably worst day, maybe seeing a lot of dead people over the course of their career, if not a day. Um, and so we're looking at, at, at those adrenaline spikes, right? You have no control over it. You just, you come up to a call and it turns into what it turns into, or it is what it is when you get there. And I think my theory is that some, some, not all people who may engage in infidelity are looking for the thrill and the adrenaline that they can control. So we'll see. Some people like to jump out of planes. Some people drive their motorcycles 100 miles per hour doing wheelies on the highway. Um, a lot of um, first responders speed in general in their cars. Uh, will engage in risky behaviors. Um, single first responders or you know military people might engage in risky sexual behaviors. Um, just things that increase the adrenaline, increase the risk, and is still within their control. They cannot do it. They can do it. Um, and also to go hand in hand with that is sometimes financial risks. So we'll talk about that next. <laughs> 